Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this example video, we're going to look at finding variance and standard deviation. So in our intro video for this, I gave you guys the formulas, but the truth is we very rarely do these by hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to use a TI-83 or 84 calculator to do so. You can definitely also find variance and standard deviation using other tech methods, um, but I'm just going to kind of show you using this one. So we're going to look at our height data. So the first thing that I had to do in my calculator was go into my lists and just type in my height data exactly as it appeared. I then ran my one variable stats. You might remember that from when we looked at finding measures of center using technology. So it's the same screen. We're just going to find some different parts of the readout. So when I scroll through or when I look at my items on my one variable stat, I actually noticed two standard deviations, right? I have S of X, or a sample standard deviation, and Sigma of X, or a population standard deviation. And if you notice the values, they are a little bit different. Thinking back to those formulas, that's because they are calculated just slightly different, with the population standard deviation being divided by N, and the sample standard deviation being divided by n minus 1. So the calculator doesn't know if the data that you've fed to it is from a population or from a sample, but you as the user need to know that. In this case, this census data is a sample set of data. So we are going to be looking at the standard deviation labeled s of x for sample. Also notice, so there's our standard deviation, right? 36.2 and so on. Awesome, done on that part. Notice though that on the readout, we are not shown our variance. Remember that variance is S squared. So the calculator doesn't directly give you that. If you want to know the variance, you need to go back to the home screen or use your calculator function and square this data value. So squaring, 36.2259, so on. And that would give you your variance. Okay, guys, that's it for finding variance and standard deviation using technology. See you guys in the next video.